you know, the it factor. What brought you guys together? What, how did Beef Candy start? So that, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good story. I don't know if we've ever put it out there yet of how it happened. Um, so you, you, you heard about this thing called COVID? Uh, yes. So, so, yeah, okay. So, uh, so that happened uh, originally from my days as Coach Flex. Um, I was going to come back right before the pandemic hit, and I was going to be teamed with um, Jesse Sorensen was the, was the plan. Um, mm-hmm. And me and Jesse were going to be a tag team of sorts, and uh, we were going to be like wellness fitness trainers is what the idea of it was. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, the pandemic hit, so that delayed my return and any more tapings for Hollywood for an additional, I think, five or six months at the time. So we came back in August and I went to the tapings, not knowing anything of what I was going to do. And I sat at the tapings for about two hours, not knowing anything of what I was going to do. And um, finally, you know, Damian Sandow, Aaron, uh, we like mm-hmm. to you know, call him. Um, he, he comes over, he's, he's the booker for the show now. And uh, he just says to me, hey, so you're going to be working with, with Richie Slade. Um, and I just was like, Okay, and I, I didn't know if he meant match or tag team. And then he goes, you know, I, I looked at your guys' photos and the roster. He said, I think you look good together. And he's like, I'm thinking, like, Zoolander, if you get the, <laughs> the vibe. And uh, he's like, I think that would be fun. And he's like, well, I'm going to leave it up to you. And I was like, all right. So I guess he had told Richie that he was working me too. But I think Richie was under the impression that we were, we were working against each other. We were, we were wrestling. Uh-huh. Um, so when I approached Richie, which me and Richie, I think have done shows before, but we never, we never chatted. We never like kind of crossed paths. And uh, I knew of Richie Slade. I've seen his face. I knew him, uh, but just didn't ever like know him, know him. And uh, it was funny because I went over to him and I, I said, Hey, we're going to be working together. And he was like, yeah, I heard that too. And I was like, so they're thinking Zoolander. And he's like, oh, wait, we're like together. And I was like, that's what I'm being told. And then, um, so like literally they grabbed us and they were like, hey, guys, we need a promo out of you in like 20 minutes. And we were like, oh, crap. And then I said to Richie, I was like, we need a name. Because the last thing I wanted to do was, was become a tag team or some kind of entity without a name. Because it's so weird when it's just two guys from a singles career or another team put together. And it, it feels mixed match. So right away, I was like, man, we go in this with a name. We're already cementing that we're, we're, we're together. So I said to Richie, a shot in the dark, I said, hey, what do you think of beef candy? And he goes, I like it. And I was like, all right. And, like, I knew that Aaron, he would approve it. I could already tell that he was like, whatever you guys want, whatever is funny. But I was like, Dave Marquez, hmm, I know how <laughs> Dave knows how I think. And Dave doesn't usually like the hee hee ha ha that I come up with until he sees it live. But he'll mm. he'll sometimes squash it before it happens because, you know, he's just like, ah, oh, that's not going to sell. That's not going to work. And I'm like, give me a chance. Um, so anyway, we didn't tell him. And the funny part was he was the guy being the interviewer in our first promo. So yeah. his first time hearing the name, uh, was when we at the end of the promo called it out and said we are beef candy and we didn't have anything behind it at the time we were still working it out and, and Dave's reaction was who came up with that name and it was, it was a total shoot and as soon as the camera stopped rolling it was like no really who came up with that name we're not using that and um, that's, that's how it started I mean, really, oh, don't wow. add in anything I left out, but uh, yeah. No, I think you. I think you. Uh, yeah. No, that's pretty much yeah. it, man. I, I think you know, just to add to it, yeah. I, I've seen, I, I've seen, Flex in the the locker room before in Hollywood, and it was just one of those things where I was just going in one the same direction, being kind of stagnant, uh, and it's one of those blockers that you have in your head where you think you're doing right or you, you know you're you're going in the right way but it kind of takes someone else to kind of push you and say no man you're just going in circles here like you got to try something new get out of your comfort zone um and that just you know again just to say like i said earlier is like this is the most fun i've had you know in my entire wrestling career you know it's just going out there and and what's more exciting about this is that it's anticipating what happens when we get the audience 
you know, when we get those fans in the audience and mm-hmm. we say be Andy and we hear whether it's a boo or a cheer, <laughs> they know, especially those Hollywood fans, they're going to know, you mm-hmm. know, they're going to know how to react, whether it's a say it with us or just boo us out of the building, whatever the case may be. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I think I also think this is magic, man. It's like, you know, it's like beef candy magic. It's simple. I think it's simple and fun. And when you look at oh, throughout the years, Stone Cold, Rock, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, they always had something that was simple and yet mm-hmm. fun. You know, the yes, 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 you can you can follow along with. What, what you know, the, the Rock, uh, he, the Rock would have the fans in the palm of his hands from any catchphrase that he made huge. Um, so, so my idea was, as we build off this, how can we make this simple and fun and then still have all this like digestive, you know, uh, material to give people. Mm-hmm. And like beef candy was just, I feel like it's unlimited for where yeah. you can go with it. And even from the beginning of what me and Richie, we were just going to be like handsome men grooming ourselves. And then we totally turned it into like actual candy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're like, you know, hunky men, but like we love ourselves. Maybe we love each other. We, no one else loves us. Who knows? Cause there's the fans aren't there yet. You know, so once the, like Richie said, once the fans are there, they'll kind of dictate where we go with Mm -hmm. how we say our stuff. And if they want to follow along or they want to cut us off or we want to cut them off, that's where we'll we'll, we'll get that opportunity. So Mm. fingers crossed that we hopefully get that shot maybe in July or so. It seems like everything is relaunching in July. We haven't gotten an official word, but um, it looks like on the horizon you know fans will definitely know the name of beef candy Mm -hmm. pretty soon (laughs) oh yeah absolutely absolutely and then